Well, you still have about one more hour to vote tonight and elections that will determine who takes a seat on school boards and city councils across the area. In Beaumont, the mayor's race and a number of council races are on the ballot. We're keeping you informed with the latest on the election. And KFDM Sarai Demine is outside one of the polling places. Sarai, are people still showing up to vote? Haley, I'm right outside Rogers Park where last minute voters are showing up. They have until 7 tonight when this polling place, as well as all others, will close. A little under 6,000 voters took advantage of early voting in Beaumont. That usually often makes up the large portion of the final tally. Well, we're looking at around 20, 20, I mean 50, 55, something like that so far. The number of voters showing up to cast their ballots at the John Paul Davis Community Center. A number election judge Jackie Duraso calls low. When we have the uh, primaries, we have a lot more. We don't have that many for the local, and I think because people say, well, I know so-and-so, and I know such that, so they don't really come out. Opting out of picking city leaders doesn't make any sense to this retired government teacher. So the people that you're going to be in contact with, if you don't come out here and vote for them, then what you can do is stand on the sidewalk fussing at them or trying to complain to them. You have to come and express yourself so at least they know that you are part of this too. Others like William Dupar are doing their part. He says he's voted since he turned 18. Well, local elections are just as important to me because for one, it affects me on an everyday basis. And city elections are as close as you can get to the people. People some voters say they'd like to see more of at the polls. Uh, just like to see bigger turnouts for uh, uh, all city and drainage districts and school district elections. Uh, I try to vote in everything I possibly can. Voting in every election is a right some people here say they're grateful to have. I'm thankful that I'm able to do that and, and, and acknowledge my voice in casting my vote. But having a voice heard doesn't stop after Frank Johnson Jr. casts his vote. You have little forums for your local officials and everything. Attend them. Go and express your, your, your opinion because you are given an opportunity to say what's on your mind. An opportunity this poll judge thinks many take for granted. And as Americans, we are quick to criticize little things, but we need to be able to also come and support things that you have to have. And this is one of the things you support. Once again, you have a little less than an hour to come and vote. Follow us online and on air for coverage of the election tonight. In Beaumont, I'm Sarai Demean, KFDM 6 News. Thanks, Sarai.